Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the cabbage soup diet that I did for five days. I'm gonna be telling you guys everything you need to know about it. I'm even gonna show you how to make it and I'm gonna let you know if it worked for me or not. So let's get into this video. So I did the cabbage soup diet for five days. The big question is, did I lose any weight? The answer is not really. So I lost <laughs> five ounces um, while doing this diet. That's with working out every day, still drinking all of my water every day. I'm not even gonna lie, like some days like I didn't get the full gallon in but I still at least got half a gallon in. Um, the soup itself is good, it's okay. I didn't get tired of it, but is it worth it? My answer is really no. For me, I feel like it worked for me because of the fact that I just came off a fast last week where I didn't eat anything, um, but I drank protein shakes, ate jello and chicken broth along with water every day for seven days. And I didn't want to just jump right back into eating like harsh food, like um, a lot of um, meat and stuff like that. I didn't want to jump into eating a lot of carbs again and stuff like that. So I feel like this was perfect for me to, you know, step back into eating actual whole foods. So I think that was the best thing about it. But as far as, you know, doing this to actually lose any weight, I don't think that it did much me personally. I've seen other people who actually did it and they actually had a great experience off it. They were able to lose, um, you know, the weight that it said it would, which the video that I watched, which I'll link down below, um, he actually said that you can lose like 10 pounds or something in seven days because Technically, it's supposed to be for um, cardiac patients who have to have surgery, but they're too heavy to have the surgery. So they put them on this diet so that they can lose a lot of weight in a little bit of time. Well, that may work for someone who is, you know, heavily obese, but I'm not extremely big. So and maybe because I just, you know, did that drastic diet last week, that could be why. Um, it didn't work. It's a couple of things that could have played into me not being able to um, lose the weight off of this. But that doesn't mean that you can't try it and that doesn't mean that it wouldn't work for you. I think it is a good soup. I enjoyed it. You know, I had to add my little, you know, flair to it because I couldn't eat no plain soup. So I did add hot sauce in it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar to give it some more taste because the recipe doesn't call for any like garlic powder onion powder anything like that as i cooked it i did add a little bit of those seasonings but it wasn't enough to make it to be like oh it was like a good soup or something so as i was eating it every day i was adding in the hot sauce and everything like that so i would recommend it to you know other people but I wouldn't say it's a definite for weight loss or a definite for a lot of weight. I do feel like it kept me from gaining all the weight that I lost last week back. So that's a plus. Um, but other than that, I'm going to let you guys see how the um, soup is actually made. If you do try this soup, let me know what your results were. I may do it again at the end of the month just to give myself a break from like um, heavy foods and stuff like that because I do plan on doing a three-day fast from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm gonna do a three day fast, a water fast, no chicken broth, no protein, just straight water for three days. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go back into meal prepping and everything like that. And then I have another video on my meal prepping, everything like that for you guys as well. But here's the video. Let me know, let me know what you guys think of the video. Leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can see when I post again. Thanks. Hey y'all, so here's the ingredients. We start off with onion soup mix. We have some beef flavor broth. We have some whole peeled tomatoes. Some minced garlic. 
you can use garlic toes, but I don't like cutting garlic, so I got mints. Um, we have red and green bell pepper, white and red onion, celery, and the cabbage. So here I'm just chopping up all of my vegetables. You can chop them up however you want. I do want to apologize for the angle of this video. I didn't realize that my camera was tilted the wrong way. But yeah, I'm just chopping up all of my vegetables. Um, I'm not chopping them up very small because it's a soup. I kind of want to eat all of it. So I'm just going to chop everything up. And I'm going to slice my bell peppers because I'm going to leave those lengthwise. So right here is where I start um, chopping up my cabbage and adding it to my soup. Um, it is a lot of cabbage and it does kind of sit on the top a little bit at first, but then once you let it sit and it softens, softens up, it gets, um, it starts to all mix together. So you just have to, I let this sit for about 30 minutes, um, just cooking in the pot without stirring or touching it um and once i went back it was all you know soft enough to all stir together at once now my soup is starting to come together it's a little bit softer um, i'm able to stir it more and it's not soft enough to be done yet but it's getting close um at this point i start to add garlic powder 
um, some other seasonings as well. And the recipe really doesn't call for that because of the onion soup mix that you put in it. Um, but I'm a flavor girl. My stuff has to have flavor. I cannot eat bland food. So I added my little twist to it. So here's the final product of the soup. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate the video and leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.